In today's rapidly moving and highly interconnected society, it's common to feel inundated by the continuous flow of information and the constant demands for our attention. Yet, what if there existed a method to reclaim authority over our lives, nurture inner tranquility, and embody the essence of stoicism in the contemporary era? This video explores the core principles of stoic philosophy, presenting you with seven priceless perspectives on mastering the art of leading a calmer and more harmonious life. One, don't speak ill of yourself. One of the foundational principles of Stoicism, a philosophy that underscores the importance of inner strength and resilience, involves refraining from speaking negatively about oneself. This guideline advises against engaging in self-deprecating talk, even within the confines of one's thoughts. Echoing the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, who cautioned, don't be overheard complaining, not even to yourself. The rationale behind this stoic principle is to safeguard one's self-confidence and mental well-being. Persistently entertaining thoughts, such as, I'm terrible at this, or I'll never improve, is tantamount to eroding one's self-esteem. These negative self-assessments can prove detrimental to motivation and impede personal growth. Adhering to this stoic wisdom necessitates a heightened awareness of one's inner dialogue. Rather than engaging in self-criticism, it is imperative to consciously remind oneself of inherent potential and capabilities. Embracing affirmations like, I am capable of achieving this, and if not, immediately, I will get there eventually, fosters a positive and growth-oriented mindset, reinforcing self-confidence and resilience in alignment with the fundamental tenets of Stoicism too. Don't boast about self-improvement. Epictetus, a distinguished Stoic philosopher, imparts valuable guidance on the pursuit of self-improvement. He sagaciously advises that as we endeavor to enhance ourselves, it is crucial to do so with humility and discretion. This entails refraining from ostentatiously proclaiming our efforts and achievements to the world. Instead, Epictetus advocates for allowing our actions to serve as the authentic testament to our growth. In essence, Epictetus underscores that the journey of self-improvement should be a personal and introspective one, pursued for our own benefit rather than seeking applause or recognition from others. Boasting incessantly about our progress carries the risk of diminishing the sincerity of our intentions akin to prematurely announcing our goals, which can inadvertently dampen motivation and commitment. Epictetus encourages us to abide by the timeless wisdom that actions speak louder than words. The true measure of self-improvement lies not in grandiose declarations, but in the tangible changes manifested in our behavior, character, and mindset. Genuine growth is demonstrated through our actions, the way we treat others, the wisdom we share, and the virtues we embody. The crucial takeaway is that the journey of self-improvement should be a silent and steadfast pursuit. Instead of broadcasting our intentions, Epictetus advocates for diligently working behind the scenes, focusing on personal development. This approach allows our results to naturally shine through and inspire others. People are more likely to be influenced and impressed by the tangible improvements they witness in us rather than by the empty words we speak. According to Epictetus, the path to self-improvement is best traversed with humility and modesty, allowing our actions and results to speak for themselves is not only the most genuine, but also the most impactful way to inspire and influence those around us. Three, don't be 
be a glutton Musonius, a distinguished Stoic philosopher, imparts valuable insights into the pivotal role of moderation in various aspects of life, placing particular emphasis on our eating and drinking habits. His wisdom underscores that excessive indulgence can lead to detrimental consequences, encompassing both physical and mental burdens, ultimately resulting in faster burnout. The Stoic philosophy, as articulated by Musonius, accentuates the profound importance of discipline and self-control as fundamental keys to success. This extends beyond professional endeavors, encompassing the broader spectrum of our lives. Moderation, far from being a mere suggestion, emerges as an essential principle to embrace in navigating the complexities of existence. An illustrative metaphor employed by Musonius depicts a pendulum swinging between two extremes, overindulgence marked by excessive eating or drinking and extreme restraint or abstinence. The former, while providing momentary pleasure, burdens both body and mind, leading to discomfort, health issues, and the mental distress of guilt or regret. Conversely, the latter, characterized by extreme restraint, may give rise to feelings of deprivation, frustration, and paradoxically, a potential desire to overindulge later on. Musonius' counsel advocates for finding the delicate balance between these extremes, a middle path that embodies moderation. This principle extends beyond culinary aspects, becoming a universal guideline applicable to every facet of our lives. By practicing moderation, we exercise essential qualities of discipline and self-control, which prove not only beneficial, but imperative for achieving success and maintaining a harmonious existence. In the grand orchestration of life, moderation emerges as a crucial player, harmonizing our actions and ensuring a more fulfilling and balanced journey. Musonius' teachings remind us that embracing moderation is not just a virtue related to food and drink. It is a universal principle that, when applied, fosters discipline and self-control, contributing to a life of success and harmonious equilibrium. For don't be a big mouth Zeno, an ancient philosopher revered as the father of Stoicism, shared enduring wisdom that echoes through our contemporary, fast-paced and talkative world. His insightful words, you have two ears and one mouth for a reason. So listen more than you speak. Hold profound significance, urging us to contemplate our communication and interactions with others. In today's era, where the clamor for attention can be overwhelming, it is increasingly vital to heed Zeno's guidance. The pervasive clamor often emanates from various sources, such as social media, meetings, and everyday conversations, where everyone strives to assert their voices. In this quest to express our thoughts, the value of active and attentive listening can sometimes be overlooked. Listening is an art that transcends mere silence. It involves giving someone your undivided attention, tuning into their words, emotions, and unspoken cues. By listening, you extend a precious gift, respect. It signals that you appreciate the speaker's thoughts feelings, and experiences. In a world saturated with noise, being a proficient listener sets you apart and serves as a testament to your empathy and consideration. Through listening, you create an environment conducive to meaningful connections. People feel heard, understood, and valued, fostering stronger bonds and facilitating more effective communication whether in personal or professional settings. Cultivating the skill of active listening can enhance relationships, promote collaboration, and instill a sense of trust. Beyond its interpersonal benefits, listening also offers opportunities for personal development and knowledge acquisition. Actively engaging with others' perspectives, insights, and knowledge becomes a source of growth and a pathway to making well
well-informed decisions. The Zeno's Timeless Council remains as relevant as ever. You have two ears and one mouth for a reason. So listen more than you speak. In a world where self-expression often commands attention, being a dedicated listener becomes an act of mindfulness, respect, and wisdom. The next time you engage in a conversation, remember the transformative power of listening, unlocking profound connections, and paving the way for personal and professional growth. Five, don't be too focused on the future. In Stoic philosophy, a profound lesson underscores the significance of avoiding excessive fixation on the future. Esteemed Stoic thinkers, including Epictetus, caution us about certain aspects of life beyond our control. Worrying about events, lying outside our sphere of influence, be they future occurrences, past events, or the thoughts and actions of others, can serve as a fault of unnecessary stress and discontent. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, emphasized a pivotal principle for discovering authentic happiness. Letting go of preoccupation with matters surpassing our power. His memorable words resonate. There is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. Let's delve into the breakdown of this stoic wisdom. Six, accept the limits of your control. Recognizing the vital truth that not every aspect of life can be dictated is crucial. Certain events lie beyond our sphere of influence, and expending worry or concern on them proves futile. External circumstances, the behaviors of others, and the uncertainties of the future are examples of elements we cannot control. 7. Focus on the present. Stoicism counsels us to shift our focus away from dwelling on the past or succumbing to anxiety about the future. Instead, the philosophy urges concentration on the present moment. In the here and now lies your power to act and make choices. By exerting your best efforts in the present, you hold the capacity to shape your future in a positive and meaningful manner. I hope you enjoyed the video, and since you've reached the end, feel free to share your thoughts with us. Drop some armored wisdom in the comments. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. See you soon.